A long battle between the Ohio Signing Board and Hamilton County residents opposing the Duke Energy Pipeline project has reached its end. Redding and Blue Ash residents rallied against the project in meetings and debates for the past few years. Today, the roads down many of their blocks look like the war zone. I mean, it's been frustrating. Um, you know, a lot of closures, you know, some delays here and there. Reading Service Director Patrick Ross says he's not surprised about the court's decision to approve the project, even though the board admitted to not following their own administrative rules because the project is mostly complete. You know, we as a city were opposed to it. We still, you know, don't think it was the best route, but we wanted to work closely with Duke um, to make sure that it was done in a safe manner. Duke Energy says they have been working to do just that. It's about um, working cooperatively and closely with homeowners, business owners, and these local um, communities where we are. And we're very appreciative um, of how we've been uh, generally received in neighborhoods that we've, we hear very positive stories. The project hasn't come without some hiccups. Construction on this street in Redding was at a standstill today due to the rain. But neighbors told me due to some engineering issues, what was supposed to be a two week job has lasted four months in front of their homes. With a construction project of this magnitude, um, there are going to be, I mean, they, they hit one of our big water mains very early on. But they, Duke themselves have, has been very, very responsive um, to any issues that have arisen. Well, Duke began construction on the pipeline on March 1st of this year. The $200 million project is slated to be complete in the spring of 2022.